my name's Tom. Today I'm going to be showing you how I use the National Instruments LIDAC and LabVIEW to investigate the properties of a cantilever beam. So what is a cantilever beam? Well, a cantilever beam is anything that is secured at one end and free at the other. So whether this is the wings on an aircraft, or a balcony on a building, or in fact a crane, which is just one gigantic cantilever beam. Because a cantilever beam is so widely used, it's important that we understand the mechanics behind it. So how can we investigate the mechanics behind the cantilever beam? Well, I'm going to use two strain gauges to measure the strain in an aluminium bar. This strain reading can then be passed into my signal conditioning circuit and the NI MIDAC, where it can be translated into information that any personal computer can read. I can then use LabVIEW to gather this information, analyse it and present it back to my audience. So a strain gauge is basically an electrical resistor which varies depending on how much strain it encounters. By putting it in a Wheatstone bridge configuration, we can measure the disbalance that, that this bend causes as a voltage. This voltage can then be passed into the analog input channels of our NI MIDAC, where it can be translated to our computer. The NI MIDAC also provides an excitation voltage to this circuit, which is essential in generating the voltage which we're eventually going to read. So this information is then passed into LabVIEW, where we can start making use of it. To start off with, we need to run our program. You do this by pressing the Run button and the Front panel. We have a purple line and a green line. These represent the two strain gauges on our cantilever beam. Now we're actually going to be taking an average of the readings from both, to give a more accurate reading for the strain we're getting. First though, we need to set the offsets of these two signals. We need to make sure they, that at rest they give a reading of zero. Okay, next we need to configure our inputs, and that's done down here. First of all, we need to say how much weight we're going to be hanging off our cantilever beam, and at what distance from the pivot point we're going to be hanging. So now we can see the measured output starting to update. We can see our stress reading, our strain reading, and the Young's modulus which is being calculated from them. We can also see our theoretical outputs. So this is generated from the expected Young's modulus of the material. And when you finish with the program, press the stop button and it will end.